welcome back if you're returning welcome if you're new here i see that our collective is continuing to grow continuing to expand we're continuing to heal we're continuing to build we're continuing to um you know connect right that's what it's all about right so i have a ton of cards sitting over here from like two thursdays in a row i love my thursday night cards so we're going to just dive in and see what comes up. I grabbed a few that were vibing, and I'm not going to waste any time. Let's ring in. Take a deep breath and get your energy in. Oops. Lovely sound. Lovely sound tonight. Very clear ring. Right? Rough start, but very clear ring. Start with a couple from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. <laughs> Some people say there's oracles that sugarcoat, but this one is one that has a nice mix, you know? Not all oracles are light and love. It's not true. The rumors are not true. The rumors are not true. The rumors are not true. Hmm. Interesting. Be the hunter, not the hunted. Owl. Be the hunter, not the hunted. The rumors are not true. I feel like somebody is talking about the collective. You're on somebody's lips. Heaven sent. I love that energy. Let's see. The rumors are not true. People let them talk. Right? It's usually people that don't know you at all. Or it's people who knew of you that you're no longer aligned with. You know, we grow, we expand, right? Collective, we change. We do the shadow work. We do the... I'm going to get a couple more before I see what that is. Oh, they all fell face down. It's like we don't know what is the next... What is the next chapter? Is there a fear of next chapters? A fear of the unknown? A fear of... What's behind? Relax. The hold of darkness. Oh. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause, right? Like be at peace. That's the bottom of the deck. That's the bottom of the deck. What were these three? After the storm, beyond the mind, the heart beats. Softly, softly, the tender touch. If you're coming out of something that feels like a big shift, you know, big shift in your mindset, a big shift in how you're moving, how you're operating. You know, these storms change the direction that you need in, but you have like this infinite ability to um, create. Like you, you understand your connection to the universe and that there's infinite, unlimited possibilities for you, right? So that, you know, whatever this tower was after the storm, whatever the previous tower was, this is after it. This is, you've already gained the clarity, the knowledge necessary. You've dug deeper than what was just on the surface, right? Your story matters and sharing your story matters. And adding to the collective on how you healed from parts of your story. Using your light work, right? Oh, look, diving for light right behind it. Focus on the light. There you go, you guys. All three of those. I love that. I've been seeing a lot of sunflowers lately. And seahorses. 
So those might be significant for you. We have 11. Hmm. 20, 21, ones. Lots of twos. I saw two, two, two earlier. It's actually about three o'clock in the morning when I'm doing this reading. I don't know why. I'm always called to do them late at night. I got a lot more Oracle out than I usually do to kick off, but that's okay. That's okay. We go with the flow. <laughs> I hear my little, she's giggling in the other room. She is, um, <laughs> she's legally blind, so we do a lot of late nights around here because it's just easier in the evening and at night for her to navigate and enjoy her day, so to speak. So we sleep in and we stay up late. That's just our thing. We try to be quiet. But... Oh, I was getting out another oracle, but what I really want to do is spill tea on this. Sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing over here. Getting out the next deck. Hey, shout out collective. Love you guys. Right? We're focused on the light. We don't even care if there's people saying stuff about us. There's a star in the bottom of the box. There's a star. I don't know if you can see in there. It's from the star card. It's so cute. I was looking. I got a star card right here, too. Speaking of. And, um,. It's that pouring out, right? It's that release. Mm, the victory and the release. I love this deck. I did tell a friend today that this deck always seems to deliver a karmic tale. So, yeah, the Queen of Swords. Always seems to deliver. I love this, though. It's a victory for a queen, queen of swords. Somebody who stands in their truth about what they value and stuff, though. Protecting their family. Right? There may be a change. There may be shifts that people are not seeing or aware of. Right? Trusting your intuition. My collective, right? You are trusting your intuition. Well, these are still really stiff. No. It's a good deck. It's a good deck. I really enjoy it. It's whimsical, but boy, it packs a punch energetically. We're focused on the light, right? Let's stay focused on the light then. Let's just ask, yeah, the star, guys. Can't make it up. Let's just ask for the light to be revealed. It's that release. It's that pouring out. Yeah, a release. Uh, maybe of a karmic idea, karmic ways. Moving towards something new. I like that. Moving towards something new. All right. Let's get, <laughs> I'm going to keep the star. I love this energy. It's very similar. It's a nice release. Oh, I see these pine trees. You guys know I love to talk about the pine trees when I see them. What about the trees? My friend. <laughs> I'm quoting my friend from a reading that we were doing together, a co-reading. What about the trees? But what about the trees? There's a tree, those pine trees on a certain card in a certain deck. I think it's actually this deck. When they come up, when they come up for me, I think of like my, my little cabin in the woods vibe. It brings up that feeling of happiness, you know, what I want to move towards. So maybe there's something like that. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, that's like releasing of friction. That's exactly what I was talking about. Like the releasing. The releasing of that energy. I love that. The releasing of things that are keeping you uh, limited. Making you feel stuck. Making you feel like you can't expand. We have a Knight of Wand and a King of Swords. It's good there's a pair. I love these moons. It's like he's looking for the synchronicities, right? He's looking for the synchronicities. You can see here he's got he's got his hand on his forehead. He's looking. Oh, but he's not looking where he is. He's looking ahead. Everything is okay. I do see birds in this, but I see butterflies too. And it's like, whatever they're talking about, I always see birds as messages, but the butterflies, you know, yeah, come down out of your head about it. These rumors, 
these rumors, maybe that some. Oh yeah, look at this guy's carrying a bell. Here he here he. These are people with victim mentalities, but they're really like suffering from their own lack mindset. Yeah, they're suffering from their own hell. It's not a hell you've caused, but you may be being blamed for, or they may be projecting their own hell onto you. You may be feeling like somebody is doing that to you, collective. Mm, told you this always delivers a karma tale, but I don't think that it's this king of swords that's doing that. I think that there might be a king of swords that heard rumors about you that might understand you better than these losers, this loser couple, like, seems to think. I don't know. <laughs> these are very karmic vibes here, this five of pentacles, right? Like, her eyes are bandaged, but is she really blind? I'm like, questioning, right? She does not want to see. Hmm. If he wore his other shoe, would his foot heal and feel better? I don't know, guys. It's a weird vibe. It's a weird vibe. But they're carrying the bell, and that's all that, like, hear he, hear he. You know, that's that thing I was talking about, the rumors, trying to rock your foundation. Like, if your your foundation is the warmth on the other side, this tree of life here, right, that you're working to build. It's like somebody sees you working to build that, and they're like, oh, we can't have that. Here he, here he. Let's take them down. <laughs> oh, eight of swords, but you're not trapped. You're not in this, you're not up in your head and you're not trapped. You're not even worried about what anybody else might think about you. You're healing what needs to be healed. You're watering your own grass. Like you're taking care of business and that's all that matters. You're focused on the light. That's my collective. I love that. Knight of Swords in reverse. You're taking your time. You're not making any haste decisions. There's an eight of pentacles. It's in reverse. This could be like a, um, this not working on you. Right? Whatever these things that are being said about you out in the public. Here's all those birds. Right? This angry knight making impulsive moves. Moving quickly to tell everybody. Like all this stuff. I love these green flags down here. <laughs> like whatever, dude not working right so somebody is making like trying to make you feel this way it's just not working on the collective they're, if they're using these tactics you're seeing through it and you're not letting yourself become caught up in it it's very important you don't let yourself get caught up in it i think we were discussing this earlier today it's like right talk about your own healing if it's beneficial to people that's great water your own lawn Right? Grow your own business. Mind your own business. Oh, look at that fall. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's in the struggle. Here's the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is about working together, right? So here we go. We've got this guy, right? He made all these pentacles and he's like, hey, look, I got a plan. I want to work together and do this. Because it's going to ease the burden on everybody. Like, let's. That's the thing is you just, whatever. Oh, I see what your idea is to cause me this, uh, this stress, this struggle, right? But it's not going to work because I put in the effort and I found a tribe that is going to work. <laughs> I focused on the light. I focused on what I needed to focus on. Yeah. I'm just waiting for things to come through. We have a three of wands on the bottom. That's like waiting for your ships to come in. And it's like one ship after the other, too. I'm not seeing it as like a choice. There's three oars here. You're like, I've lined things up for myself. Three, three. It could be significant to somebody. There's a lot of threes here. 
I see a lot of fives. We have three, 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 five, five, five. That's a lot of change. We have a ten of swords in reverse. That's exactly right, guys. We have this ten of wands. It's just like, I'm not going to struggle over this. I love all these swords being in reverse. Like, thank you, deck. Thank you, spirit, for giving us a positive message that's like, you know, we're just not going to let this stuff work, right? Whatever this energy is that you think is coming from other people to affect your life and your well-being, we're just, we're going to return to sender. Play yourself some Elvis. Mm -hmm. Play yourself some Elvis. Okay, I am going to spill a couple of these shaman cards on it. There'll be something in here maybe about meditation. I really do think you might benefit from a white light meditation. You can find several of them. I happen to like there's a St. Michael meditation. Um, I don't know. I'll try to find it and share it somewhere on my wall if I can. But it has like a white light meditation with a St. Michael meditation. And there's a whole like thing about release in there. And I think that somebody needs that. Somebody needs to hear it. I may need to hear it. I may need to give it a listen. Again, let's get a couple of these. Please, Spirit, thank you for the best messages tonight, Holy Spirit. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you, St. Michael. Medicine wheel, exactly. Thank you for helping us to heal. Thank you for helping us to recognize our own patterns and the patterns of others around us. Thank you for giving us purpose to spread how we are healing these things, right? How we're creating the stability for ourselves. Yeah, how we're giving each other counsel. I love this. We have continuation, purpose, and counsel, right? We have medicine wheel, sacred site, and lodge. I love this. I love this. This is tribe vibes. This is what we're doing, right? As a collective, we're just saying, you know what? It's okay if these people are not a part of my collective. It's okay to let these people deal with their own karma and learn their own lessons because I'm planting the seeds with the people that really want to help me grow, that want to help me learn truths about myself and truths about each other, right? I love that energy, guys. This is a really beautiful reading. Like, I hope you guys are in the star energy and that you're releasing and you're healing and that you're uh, watering your own gardens right now and taking care of what you need to take care of. And we're not worried. We're just not worried about what other people are thinking right now, right? We're sitting or standing in our truth. We're looking for the signs and the synchronicities and the other people who are standing in their authentic truth because they are okay. They are okay by us. All right, Collective, I absolutely love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful new year. Thank you so much. If you are here to the very end, drop some love, maybe some stars or some sunflowers down in the chat and let me know that you're still here with us. Absolutely love you.